in what can only be described as a ground-shattering discovery that challenges the current cosmological model to a cage fight. Researchers have found evidence that suggests that the universe may be twice as old as we previously thought it to be. Orbit. Beyond the blue. This research around studying space and our universe sheds light on the impossible early galaxy problem. According to the study's author, Rajendra Gupta, a physics professor at the University of Ottawa, their newly devised model indicates that the universe is 26.7 billion years old, significantly older than the previous estimate of 13.7 billion years. Astronomers and physicists have traditionally determined the universe's age by measuring the time since the Big Bang and studying the oldest stars based on redshift observations. However, the existence of stars like Methuselah, which appear older than the universe's estimated age, and the discovery of early galaxies with advanced evolutionary characteristics have perplexed scientists. These early galaxies, observed only 300 million years after the Big Bang, exhibit levels of maturity and mass typically associated with billions of years of cosmic evolution, presenting a significant puzzle. To address these challenges, Gupta introduces Zwicky's tired light theory, which proposes that the redshift of light from distant galaxies is caused by the gradual energy loss of photons over vast cosmic distances. By allowing this theory to coexist with the expanding universe, Gupta suggests a hybrid interpretation of redshift that explains the observations more accurately. Additionally, Gupta incorporates the concept of evolving coupling constants, as theorized by Paul Dirac, which are fundamental physical constants governing particle interactions. By allowing these constants to vary over time, the formation time frame for early galaxies observed by the James Webb Space Telescope can be extended from a few hundred million to several billion years. This provides a plausible explanation for the advanced development and mass observed in these ancient galaxies. Gupta proposes that the traditional interpretation of the cosmological constant, responsible for the universe's accelerating expansion, needs revision. And it's not just Gupta. Many more scientists are joining the lot that believes our cosmological theories need to be looked at. With every new discovery, James Webb is finding stars and galaxies that should ideally just not exist. And yet they do. The James Webb Space Telescope lets astronomers see a tremendous number of deep space galaxies, and they are finding some bizarre things. NASA's billion-dollar investment has proven to be a mighty asset that is doing precisely what it was built to do, to understand the earliest stages of the universe in new and exciting ways to eventually help us understand and trace back our own origins. After recently discovering six mega galaxies that formed when our universe was a hot dense soup, researchers have been itching to keep testing and flexing Webb's capabilities. And every observation keeps yielding results with more and more distant and ancient galaxies, each with a unique characteristic. Of note, scientists recently pointed the Webb telescope the most powerful observatory in space, at a whopping 100,000 relatively young galaxies, and observed some unique cosmic phenomena in a galaxy dubbed Sears 1019. It's extremely young, for a cosmic object, existing just some 570 million years after the Big Bang created the universe, and it holds the most distant supermassive black hole ever found. Although this black hole, which is an object with a gravitational pull so strong that not even light can escape, is billions of light years away, the Webb telescope's ability to capture extremely faint energy allows researchers to observe what's happening in Sears 1019. Looking at this distant object with this telescope is a lot like looking at data from black holes that exist in galaxies near our own. Rebecca Lassen an astronomer at the University of Texas at Austin who led the discovery, said in a statement. Sears 1019 
and its black hole are unique for a number of reasons. It might not be just one galaxy. Most galaxies appear as a singular disk, not Sears 1019. As the image below shows, it's made up of three bright clumps. We're not used to seeing so much structure in images at these distances, said Jay and Kotelteep, an astrophysicist at the Rochester Institute of Technology in New York, who worked on the research. The structures might be galaxies merging together and stoking the creation of stars. A galaxy merger could be partly responsible for fueling the activity in this galaxy's black hole, and that could also lead to increased star formation, Cottlety padded. Sears 1019 is not only notable for how long ago it existed, but also how relatively little its black hole weighs, NASA explains. It weighs 9 million times more than the Sun, which is a lot but not compared to the giants often found at the center of galaxies in the young universe, which are one billion times or more heavier. What's more, astronomers don't yet know how such a powerful object exists at all. It appeared so early in the universe, when the first galaxies were forming. With the help of the Webb telescope, researchers hope to grasp how such a big galaxy and other massive objects came to be. What is clear? However, is that the black hole found in Sears 1019 is extremely active. Though small, Sears 1019 is ravenous, consuming gas, dust, and stars at the highest theoretically possible rate for its size. The Space Telescope Science Institute, which operates the observatory's science mission, explains. Webb's spectrum reflects it is fully focused on eating its meal. By peering at distant light, Webb's specialized instruments can view the chemical makeup of objects billions of light years away. In other words, we don't have a picture of this black hole, but we know how black holes behave and can determine what's transpiring at such great distances by observing the activity of atoms or molecules in the deep cosmos. Sears 1019 may only hold this record for a few weeks as claims about other more distant black holes identified by Webb are currently being carefully reviewed by the astronomical community. This ability of Webb's to see objects in infrared offers it a considerable edge over the rest of the space telescopes, including its predecessor Hubble. Many objects that remained unseen or had unclear visibility in Hubble's deep field image are now being brought to light, literally, by Webb. If things continue the way they are going, 2023 is going to be filled with plenty more discoveries that change the way we see the cosmos. But what do I know? Orbit. Beyond the Blue.